Hello, all my beautiful Aries friends. Welcome to your November 16th through 30th, 2020 reading. This is a collective reading for all Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. If you'll notice, there's a little floating I, a lowercase I up at the top right corner. That's where you can go directly to my homepage, uh, royalmystic.com, where you'll see a couple of different things. You can schedule the reading. You'll also see a link to the Royal Mystic Curiosity Shop, which is my store that I started because of all of you guys. Everyone was asking me where to get things and how to, you know, who to trust and what, what different things were what, how to get the decks. All of that is there, plus many, many more items. I have some beautiful new jewelry that I uploaded. Uh, I hope you all enjoy the site. And let me know what you think. If anything's, listen, I need you guys to check it out so you can make sure it's all showing up the way it should. It's a brand new site, so sometimes there's a little glitch here and there, and, and you can make me aware of that. If you go visit and find something like that, please let me know. Um, also, you can join the Royal Mystic Vibe Tribe. If you'd like to be part of the Vibe Tribe, we'll be very happy to have you join. And the information is all there. So just click the I icon or go directly to my website for more information. So with all that being said, we'll go into the reading. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek, all Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. We welcome you always. Thank you so much for your presence. So we're starting off with the Page of Swords, some information coming in. We have the Six of Cups, family, soul family energy, family energy. The Three of Wands, moving in a new direction, and the Gemini Major Arcana of the Lovers. It also means soul ascension, and I'll talk about that more in a second. Oh, nice, you do have a new beginning. This is the Fool, that's the Adventure Begins. And the Ten of Cups. Hello. We like that. That's solid, happy energy. And the Tower. So whatever's been holding you back, you're, you're overcoming that. So breaking out. We have the Emperor energy of the Divine here. This is the energy of the universe. Whatever you've been manifesting here is coming through. So this is the energy of completion of a cycle. Also, the universe making it so, making it so, and so it is, right? So that's that kind of energy. Look at that, new job. Showing it up. And the battle is finally being overcome. So finally, you have the, the energy of feeling like you have been just swinging in the wind. You are finally connecting and able to move forward so don't give up this is that that feeling of, i'm so exhausted at all of this i don't even know what to do next this is saying don't quit just yet don't 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 quit too soon don't give up too soon okay so yeah wheel of fortune <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, that's the, that's the proper expression for that, right? So happy, happy, happy. Obstacles being knocked out of the way. All red lights turn green. This is very fast moving, so it's going to feel like as soon as you hit the ground, you're going to have to hit full speed. So hitting the ground running is no joke here. This is very fast, literally feeling shot out of a cannon. So all the doors open, all opportunities make themselves known, and you are able to overcome any obstacles because they will reduce themselves to dust at your feet. Hello, we receive that. Breakthroughs abound. Now, this is being given the information Whatever it is that you're waiting to hear, he's showing up to tell it to you. This little page is giving you all the details. Now we have, this is the, they're saying you're getting the word, whatever, whatever the word is. And in my mind, every time that happens, my mind goes to Thunderbird because there's an old ZZ Top song. 
what's the word? Thunderbird. Okay, so anyway, um, here is the Six of Cups, which is the energy of happy soul family energy, very solid. Everybody's celebrating with you. Everybody supports you. And we all support each other in this lifetime playing different roles. Um, as we go through many lifetimes, this is soul family energy. So the people that are around you now who are your real core group have been through many things with you. Many, many cycles. So here is that three of wands. You're getting into the cycle of being able to move forward in a whole new direction even. Very strong in that. And then we have the lovers. So the lovers energy is that ascension energy. If you are in a relationship, this is that soul bond energy. Uh, this is also Gemini Major Arcana. And this masculine energy here is the physical body. And the soul is the feminine. And she is ascending. So this is a spiritual upgrade as well. So whether you're single or coupled up, this card is a very good card. Now, new beginnings. We have the Fool. Now this is relationship, love life, and spiritual life, but this can also be family and household. It can be any of the things. The universe knows what it wants to tell you, and whatever the message is, is coming through. So here is the Fool. The Fool is adventure. This is smooth sailing, being able to move from one thing to the next, virtually as though you are just like walking on air, okay? So, the adventure begins, a whole new beginning, ending of one cycle, and the beginning of the next simultaneously. That means there's no gap. The Ten of Cups. Now, this is the happily ever after, for, and I got right away when I laid this down with this new with this card here is this is a new house for someone or selling a house or buy I feel like it's someone buying a house getting you're getting the answer that the offer was accepted so I feel like that's part of it for some of you because this is a general reading remember it is collective so there's lots of people with lots of different things going on so I'm going to tell you what I'm getting so here is that energy so whether is your energy is that your household is finally uh, getting back into harmony or it is getting what you are, have been working toward with that. Ten is the completion of a cycle. So the Ten of Cups is very happy energy bringing you into the next phase, breaking you out of what was holding you back. This is the energy of re, re, reconstruction or um, demolishing the old way, right? So this is breaking you out of that tower. If you were the one being kept prisoner here, you're being able to be released. Also, knocking down anybody who would mean you harm, right? So, that is the breakthrough moment. They're saying, uh, guides just came in and said it could also be somebody, um, it's like shedding skin, you know, coming out of one old thing. So, the whole new beginnings here is taking away what you felt, you, is almost changing your whole outlook on life like shedding skin, like completely renewing yourself. So, oh, sorry, that's the bottom one. Hee-haw, let's try that. <laughs> Here is the emperor, which is the energy of that coming to fruition. Everything, this is the emperor of the universe, so it's also known as the, the masculine god, father energy, right? So this is that solid being, being, the universe has your back, and whatever you're manifesting is coming to life. It is coming to full form. And there it is, the Ace of Wands. Usually this means a new job or a new business for someone, uh, a new passion, a new project, whatever it is. This is that energy. Uh, very, very, when the fiery energy shows up, it means in Aries, you all know this. You guys get a bee in your bonnet for something, and there's nothing that will satisfy you till that is accomplished. And that's where that's coming in. And this means this, the long-fought battle to get to that point, you you can now take a breath and understand the breakthrough is happening and you held in there and, and hanging in there till it all gets in place is important. So right when this happens, sometimes we feel like, I don't even know if I want to keep doing this because it's just so much and there might be another caveat that shows up between now and then or they might have you waiting. Do not give up five minutes before your miracle, okay? It's, it's happening. Don't quit now. So... Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. 
Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you for this reading. <laughs> okay, let's see. We might have more cards than we need, but we'll see. And here we go. The Magician. The Nine of Swords. The Right Decision Being Made. The Chariot, Seven of Rods, Four of Rods, Four of Pentacles, I got one extra, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Rods, so this is going to clarify lots of opportunities and new beginnings. So, very fast-moving energy. Both of these are very fast-moving energy. And Aries, I know you guys are the kind of people that like it. Let's do it. Let's go. Once you make up your mind, let's, let's, let's do it right now, right? This, this, this is that energy, so it's happening that way for you. That Knight of Swords is like a lightning strike. And it may be a call out of the blue or something happens out of the blue that puts you in the place of that Wheel of Fortune just roaring your direction. So, the Page of Swords and the Magician. Stay focused on what you're manifesting. Keep yourself in a place of manifesting with positive karma because that means what you're doing is you're, you're using your heart energy to manifest the good for all. And stay away from the selfishness because that will block this Wheel of Fortune. Remember... You've got to be in a place of even karma for that to start. So, Six of Cups is the energy of soul family. And the Nine of Swords is the energy of fear. This is what happens when we're right before a breakthrough. We get in that, we feel a change coming. And we start to panic and think it's going to be something negative. But when you hear the roar of success heading your direction, sometimes it sounds like a train, right? So remember that. The light at the end of the tunnel is not always a train. <laughs> so here is the three of wands, which is the energy of moving forward in the right direction, starting something new. And... The Justice card, the right decision being made. This is also Libra Major Arcana. Gemini Major Arcana of having the ascension energy moving forward. And you are ascending. This is the Chariot. The Chariot is also a success card. And it means being treated like royalty, being lifted up out of where you are into a higher level, a change of status. That's the kind of energy. Hollywood being seen in the limelight. Success. Moving from one cycle to the next, this means an ending and a new beginning simultaneously. The zero in the major arcana is the unbroken circle of life. Stepping into your, ne into your next cycle without anything blocking you. And this is telling you to hang in there. If you're feeling like it's taking a little bit, stick to your guns. Don't let anybody dissuade you from what you are feeling is your destiny or whatever your choice needs to be. Don't give up because here it comes, the Ten of Cups. Beautiful energy of harmony, happiness, and household being very content and happy. The achievement here with this Four of, so four of Rods it's telling me this is a doorway to your future. That's a, a new house at the other side. So I feel like very strongly that I was correct. Somebody's getting the yes to wherever it is they're either trying to buy a house or, or move to. They're getting permission to do so. Which breaks you out of the old, takes you to a whole new 
experience and financial security awaits being very grounded and stable and solid so if you're getting the financing for this house that's a very strong indicator that's also happening now we have the emperor so the manifestor is working hard and here it comes into fruition the solid energy of the universe has your back and all that you need will be provided the nine of pentacles is the garden of eden energy and it's assuring you that the universe will make sure that you are provided for absolutely victory here with this ace of wands very strong energy of a new beginning and the ace of cups to go with it the ace of cups is the highest holy blessing the universe can bestow upon you it is the elixir of life in that cup all things that are everything that exists in the universe the dna is in that cup so you can make anything anything's possible literally showing up there and this is that five of of swords energy we can be winning and talk ourselves out of the victory just by having an attitude of well this isn't even worth it well yes it is so don't talk yourself out of your out of your glory of having achieved this and get yourself into just because it doesn't show up exactly how you want it or exactly when you want it don't don't get impatient and give up and and walk away from something that's going to change your life just because it's not happening exactly like you want it battle weary from all the things that we're doing yes you may have gone through a ton of interviews yes you may have uh, had to put out your resume to 200 different companies that doesn't mean that you give away what's being handed to you on a stick here so new opportunities we got the nine of rods here where you're going how many how many more times do i have to do all this and oh my gosh i'm just so tired so both of these energies are very similar this both the, that nine of rods these are both signaling the breakthrough and this is all of the stuff that's coming with it so it's saying you may feel overwhelmed and that may be why you're like oh my god this is too much hang in there it is not too much and you can do it don't let don't talk yourself out of it so my aries friends you're having a beautiful wonderful energy here many blessings to you all have a wonderful thanksgiving thank you for all your beautiful energy i always appreciate you and many 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 blessings prosperity and health and happiness to you all see you next month namaste my friends